dear students today we are going to discuss time series analysis and introduction so you all know about regression analysis and what you do in regression is you are given the values of two variables say x and y and you simply regress them on each other to find the interrelationship between two variables but when you do actual empirical research then you cannot include such variables as it is so you need to verify certain properties of such variables certain uh, problems associated with such variables only then after solving uh, those issues only then you can uh, use those variables in your analysis so one of uh, such issues in time series analysis is uh, stationarity of the variables so in this context the first topic uh, under consideration is stochastic process so what do you mean by stochastic so you know the meaning of stochastic we have already discussed it discuss it so uh, stochastic or a random process is a collection of random variables ordered in time so it's basically a time series stochastic process if it is a discrete variable then you denote it by yt and if it is a continuous uh, variable then you uh, write it as y and t within brackets so all economic variables can be treated as stochastic and random process for example gdp but we have uh, uh, in previous lectures we have uh, specified gdp as a deterministic variables but in some sense it can be uh, considered as stochastic process because the value of gdp depends upon many economic environmental and political uh, circumstances so gdp gdp can have any value there are many values which you have predicted which you have forecasted but it can assume any value out of those values so you have different possible values and you have your actual values a realized value sample value so in that sense you can treat gdp as a stochastic random term so now what is stationary stochastic process any time series can be termed as stationary if it for uh, if it fulfills the following three conditions the mean of the variable the time series should be constant it should be equal to u or constant then its variance should also be constant and its covariance is given as yk its uh, initial value what does it mean that covariance between two periods should be should be constant that is the if you want to uh, estimate the variance between say between 2015 to 2016 then its value should depends upon the time lag that is for one year and not for which years the values are given that that the values are given for 15 2015 and 16 so you are not uh, uh, you are not considering the the years but you are considering the time lag only one year so it should be constant between 14 2014 and 15 2013 and 14 2012 and 13 so it should be constant for all years so if you if your time series satisfy all these three conditions then it is known as stochastic stationary process so in this way before including a particular variable into the regression so you need to verify certain uh, issues such as stationarity 
the uh, co-integration analysis which we are we are going to cover in later lecture so next uh, we'll study non stationary time series or a random walk process so a time series which is not stationary uh, defined in the above sense if these three condition any one of these three condition is not fulfilled then your time series will be treated as non stationary time series or a random walk process so it can be of two types random walk with without drift drift means a constant intercept so model without constant or intercept so for instance consider the following model here yt is a random walk it depends upon its past value yt depends upon its lagged value plus ut ut here is a white noise error term white noise is a new word to you but we have already studied it that its properties that its variance should be uh, zero sorry its mean should be zero variance should be constant and see, there is no serial or autocorrelation uh, for ut so if yt depends upon its past value then it is known as random walk without drift so there are certain variables like uh, st stock market prices exchange rates they follow a random walk so they are treated as non stationary time series but there is one issue there is one question if you treat stock market prices as random walk which means they are not stationary and their today's value depends upon its yesterday's value so today value of a stock depends upon its past value if this is true then every everyone will be millionaire so you can predict the value so you can question that how stock uh, how stock market variable can be can be a random walk but we can prove that that stock market prices can also be a random walk can follow a random walk for example uh, according to a random walk yt current value depends upon its past value so if it is y1 then it depends upon its last value y0 plus u1 similarly y2 depends upon y1 plus u2 and put the value of y1 from this first equation so you will get y0 plus u1 plus u2 similarly y3 is equal to y2 plus y3 and put the value of y2 here so you will get this model so on the whole if you generalize it so yt is equal to y0 and summation of various u's so you will get this model if you find the mean and variance of this mod, uh, this equation so expected expected value of yt expected value of y0 is equal to y0 and expected value of ut is equal to 0 so thus mean of yt is constant it is equal to y0 uh, sim similarly variance of yt is equal to this we all know this and expected value of yt is equal to y0 put the value of expected value of yt then you will get this and this is equal to from here yt minus y0 is equal to summation ut so open this summation so you will get this and the variance of each is constant and if you sum all these values so you will get n n into sigma square it means that as there is increase in time period 1 2 3 your variance is also increasing so variance is not constant so this is an example of random walk without drift
so next we have random walk with drift that is there will be intercept the rest of the derivation is same we have already included it uh, only included a delta here a constant term here so delta is your intercept so rest of the uh, derivation is same and if you generalize this derivation so you will get yt is equal to n delta plus y0 and summation ut so if you find out its expected value so mean is equal to n delta plus y0 and its variance you can uh, show it that variance of yt is equal to n sigma square so again variance is not constant so this is the example of a random walk with drift so you can clearly note in this diagram that the series was moving horizontally like this and here again in this section it is again moving in the horizontal direction and only the difference is this much distance is added to the series that is this much is the drift this is the drift this distance is added to the this term so you now the series has come to this place and it is moving in again in a horizontal position so it is not moving here but it is moving here because this much you have added to the series so this is basically a drift added to the so it is drifting actually uh, originally it was moving here and now it is moving drifted and it is moving here so it's it's a random walk with drift so now if your model if your variable is non stationary then how you can make it stationary so the first method is you can always difference it i've already given you the example of differencing i will ex again explain it to you so differencing means so you take first difference of your model so yt is equal to yt minus 1 so if you bring yt on this side so you will get yt yt minus 1 is equal to ut so delta yt delta yt is first difference is equal to ut and ut we all know is a white noise error term which is free from unit roots it is stationary it means yt was originally yt was a random walk it was non stationary but when you take first difference of it it became stationary so if your model has a drift in it so procedure is same now yt will be a stationary series with drift the first difference of yt will be a stationary series with drift so this is called difference stationary random walk with drift the earlier was difference stationary with simply random walk without drift and the first difference stationary process is also term, uh, termed as integrated of order 1 and symbolically it can be written as yt follows i means integrated 1 means order first difference after first differencing yt became stationary so yt is integrated of order 1 however suppose yt jo, uh, the first difference of yt is still non stationary suppose then you can always take its second difference now how you can uh, take uh, the second difference and first difference i will explain to you and if the second difference is stationary then you can symbolically write it as yt follows integrated of order 2 yt is integrated of order 2 means after 2 differencing it became stationary so how you can do first difference and second difference so suppose yt is your variable this this is your variable and its first lag first lag is the uh, lag of 9 is 8 lag of 7 is 9 and so on 
so you will take first difference so you will get this variable so this is known as first differencing and if you take the lag of this first differencing delta yt lag of lag of 1 is dash lag of minus 2 is 1 and so on and if you take off these two columns then this is known as second differencing so always you can take first difference and second difference to make a series stationary and then if you make a series stationary by including time trend in it if your non if your series is non stationary and you make it stationary not by differencing but by adding a deterministic trend a time period in it then it is known as trend stationary time series so simply yt is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 a time period is added here so in this way it can it can be turned into a uh, trend stationary time series here mean is here the mean of yt is this much this is constant which is not here it is not a constant because t is added here which is a variable and its variance will surely be a constant uh, sigma square but once you know the values of beta 1 and beta 2 you can always find its mean if you know the values of beta 1 and beta 2 so you can find the value of mean so therefore so yt minus these two values will be equal to ut and again ut is a random walk and yt can be treated as trend stationary time uh, trend stationary time series thank you students